Hey y'all, it's your girl, Monet. Done! Welcome back, or shall I say, y'all should be welcoming me back because I'm coming back on here with this wrinkled ass shirt and my hair looking crazy. But I'm gonna do a hair routine for you guys today. I don't know if I'm gonna have this be the intro, we'll see, but <laughs> it's on my desk. I just got the Dake little package. They sent this to me. Um, not like sponsored or anything. I just really like their stuff. And I'm so, 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 so happy. I'm so happy that I got this package. So I got the Crow Cream. I've been meaning to try this, honestly. And I got the, the Day Trio set. And this is literally my favorite shampoo, conditioner. Oh my gosh, y'all. I got it! Yes! I also got more of the Prickly Pear Cactus Oil. This stuff is really nice. I really like it. I like all this stuff. I also got some little inspiration cards to put on my mirror. I'm gonna do that. I lost my other ones when I moved. I don't know where they are. And I got an edge brush. And I needed this because I lose these things. Like one thing about me, I lose my tweezers and my edge brushes. Got it. Ooh, it's nice and stiff. I forgot how stiff this was. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna do it real nice. So anyways, I got these ribbons. Hold on, let me look at them. Put these into this hairstyle today. I tend to always style my hair the same, so that'll be a challenge to do something a little different. So I'm gonna wash my hair and then I'm gonna come back. Look at how st <laughs> And this isn't even a hair tie, this is a wig cap. I don't know. I have not washed my hair in like a good week and change. So this will be really, really nice. So like I said, we're coming back with the day trio and I'll be back. Okay, I just got out of the shower, washed my hair. I detangled it with this comb. I used their deep conditioner and their shampoo. Not gonna lie, I did not like the deep conditioner as much as I thought I would. That was my first time trying their deep conditioner in that line. I didn't like it as much, but their conditioner? Oh my God. I love their conditioner so much. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just respray my hair because it's kind of dry. Again, especially around the hairline, it just gets so dry. So I'm just gonna take their conditioner and do about a pump. I'm gonna do poop two. <laughs> I'm gonna do two pumps of their conditioner, their regular conditioner. I'm gonna just mostly focus it on the ends of my hair and kind of work my way up. This stuff literally just makes my hair buttery smooth. I'm gonna comb it through. Make sure it's on the edges. At this point, I might rewet it again. There we go, nice, nice and slippery. Ooh, almost dropped it. I'm gonna take their curl cream, their curl, their cactus fruit three in one styling cream. Ooh. I'm not gonna take much of this, probably about that much. And I'm gonna kinda section my hair in half from ear to ear. Okay, I just sectioned my hair off ear to ear. It's not even, doesn't have to be, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the styling cream, mostly focus it on the ends, the mid length to the ends. And now I'm just gonna take all my hair and comb it up and start taking pieces and finger coiling. And I make sure to go in opposite directions. So if I go this way, I go that way. Clockwise, counterclockwise. I'm not the best at trying to like keep track of it. So I do sometimes do the same type of curl in the same section. And I can't see anything. So this process I feel like gives a really nice organic look. <laughs> And that's basically what I do throughout my whole head. I basically just feel my way through <laughs> my head and just coil it up. No rhyme or reason. 
I feel like if it's too uniformed, like if I really section it off with the comb and like really, really section it off, like being really precise, I feel like I don't get the same effect. Like my curls don't fall nice. I don't know. They don't, they just don't. Sometimes I'll take a section that I feel is too big and just redo it. So then you just keep doing that throughout your head. I'm gonna do like the crown area now. I kind of leave a big old chunk for my bang. About that big. We're gonna use the same, about the same amount, maybe a little less for the crown area because I want the crown area to not be too weighed down by product because it adds, it helps the shape of my hair, if that makes sense. Helps the shape. It's just nothing weighing it down. Sometimes I'll take the comb too and just comb the product through. Now with my crown area, I like to comb it straight up or I just like to put all of it straight up. And ow. <laughs> Basically do this exact same thing I was doing before. Now I have the top section to do. It's getting a little dry again, so I'm just gonna hit it one more time with the water. Whoop. I'm gonna use low key an even smaller amount, or around the same amount, a pea size amount, whatever. And oof. And I'm just gonna put this through my hair, not really on the roots. Comb it out. Comb it straight. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing from going from the back. And this time I'm gonna be coiling everything towards the back of my head. Or just up in general, like a 45 degree angle. Now that you got a nice jerry curl going on, this is what my hair is looking like. I'm just gonna now diffuse my hair until it's 90% dry and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so this is the blow dryer that I have. It's the Conair Cord Keeper 1875. I bought this years ago and it still worked. And it came with a, a, a I almost said detachment, an attachment. So I'm going to blow, oh shit. I'm gonna blow dry it on, see I've had it for so long the little, the markings are off of it. I'm gonna blow dry it on high and just do it on low. And when I blow dry, cause I don't have an outlet right next to me to do this. I blow dry kind of like this. I make sure my bangs is kind of like, not in my face, they're facing back so that it gets a, not, a lot of volume. Make sure everything is to the, towards the back blow dry like that and we'll be we'll be back we'll be back okay now that your hair looks like this is my hair is actually a good 95 98 percent dry it's really dry so i'm gonna take their oh no now i need, I need scissors i already have one of these that um actually i, I bought two more of these to be honest but we'll just use this one because it's right next to me so i'm just gonna do one, two, clumps, rub it around my fingers. And I'm just gonna go from where we started in the back. And mm, it's still a little wet. So I'm just gonna grab ones that are already falling apart. I need to go at the root and really separate them. They kind of just fall apart and I am not afraid of frizz. So if parts frizz up and things aren't super duper uber uber duper uber defined, that is okay. We will live. I promise we will live another day. At this point, I can feel pieces are damp. So I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry it some more. Alrighty, so I'm just going to take it and blow dry it a little bit more. So 
Okay, so <laughs> we just blue drew, blue drew, blow dried our hair. I'm gonna pump more of that serum throughout this process just so that I know nothing is going to have a hard time. And with the help of this oil, everything is just, mm, it's like butter. Just like butter. I'm gonna undo these coals. And I break them up as to, into as many pieces as the, the coil wants to. I go by the coil. Law of the land. These uh, bang areas, I'm a little more strategic on how I undo it. Just because all of this frames my face. And this is how we're looking. A lot of volume already and I haven't even gotten done blow drying it. So I'm gonna diffuse it a little bit one last time just to make sure everything is dry. And then we'll go on to the next step. Alrighty, after I got done doing that, I'll take the time now to pick my hair out a bit. But I'm just gonna go in with my fingers just to loosen things up, I don't know. Okay, so normally at this stage, I pick my hair out, so I'm just gonna use the same comb because I have no clue where my my actual like afro picks are. I have no idea where they are. So I cleaned my comb, and now we're just going to go in and pick everything Oh, we're gonna focus on the root at first and then we'll do an overall pick on like the coils. Now, you can get a lot of volume from this alone, but I like to take it an extra step further and knock this hoe off. Use the blow dryer on the highest and hottest setting. Take my pick and just go in. So I'm gonna just show you guys. After I do that for a bit, I take the hair itself and I just go over everything, kind of make it into the shape I need it to be. Just all around the hair. And there we go. That's normally how I do my regular hair routine. And that's about it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this ribbon and I think my head is small enough to do a nice high top bun. So I'm just gonna take the ribbon, put it behind my head, and under my bangs, under everything. See, my head is just big enough for this, or just small enough. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna walk it up while I pull on the two ends. And there we go, a little high top bun. I'm gonna take these two pieces in the front. Now, you can put the little tassels behind. And there we go! Cute little hairstyles. I wanna use these ribbons again and see how I can style them. I do say, I don't like having hair on my face, contrary to popular belief, so I'm just gonna take the ribbon, grab all of my bang, tie it at top. And just wear it out like this, like so. I think that's pretty cute. I could just put it behind my head. I think that's pretty cute too. But yeah, that is my curly hair routine with day hair products. See how my hair is looking. Still got a lot of defined curls and it still looks really great and a lot of volume on day one. And that's so hard for me to achieve. Super voluminous hair on day one. Now throughout the week, it's gonna get even bigger. So that's my updated hair routine. I literally use these products every single, every single time I need to wash my hair. I love them so much. They make my hair feel so great and the styles be lasting a while. So. Thank you guys for watching and I'll I'll talk to y'all soon, I promise. Love ya.